Hello everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora, working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the accounts receivable reconciliation using the balance comparison method with auto approve reconciliation rule. So we will just go to our application. So this is my homepage of the application. Now the first step is to create a format. So we are going to use the already created format for the accounts receivable. So we will go to the application and from the application in the configuration. From here, I will click on the formats and select the account receivable format. Now the name, uh, as you can see, is accounts receivable method uses balance comparison because we are going to compare the two books. The one is my journal ledger and one is my third party subsidiary and create a reconciliation for the both books. Then this is the balance summary tab. My source system is my journal ledger. Subsystem is my third party subsidiary. This is the system adjustments tab. These are the headings that are used by the preparer for providing the adjustments in the source system. Similarly, these are the headings that the preparer will use to provide the adjustments in the subsystem. So I'm going to just cancel this. And the next step is to create a profile. So I will switch over to the profile tab and create a new profile. So this is my profile ID. Name I'm giving as accounts receivable reconciliation. Process is balance sheet. Risk rating I can choose according to my organization. So I'm choosing medium here. Account type I'm going to select from the assets and then the accounts receivable. Normal balance is debit. Organizational unit, I'm going to select as North America. Format that we have uh, just now seen, accounts receivable. I'm going to attach this format to this profile. Then the method, um, it is automatically showing as balance comparison. Or for auto reconciliation, I'm choosing balance is zero. And for reconciliation adjustments, I'm going to provide for 10 days. Now I'm not going to provide for any instructions for the preparer. I'll directly switch to the workflow tab. Here I'm going to select my preparer. Frank Taylor. Frequency I'm choosing monthly. It is scheduled from close date, offset date, uh, days I'm providing for one day and duration also uh, two, two days. Now from here, I'm going to select my reviewer. Amy Marlin, okay. And here I'm going to provide for two days for the duration and the frequency is monthly. Then the next I'm going to provide for my currencies. So from here, I'm going to select my rate type first. I'm choosing accounting as my rate type. I'm only uh, going to choose the functional currency as USD. So I'll just uncheck all these boxes. Then here I'm going to provide for the rule, the auto approve reconciliation rule. From here, I'm going to click on add button. This is the auto approve reconciliation rule. I'm going to select all the levels of the reviewers. Create condition. Adjustments to source system functional. If they are equal to 5000 currency as USD. So if the adjustments are equal to 5,000 to the source system, then the reconciliation will be auto approved. Uh, the reviewer do not have to open it and just approve it. So it will automatically get approved. So this is the rule that I have created. I'm just going to save this and save and close this profile as well. Now the next step is to import the pre map balances into the periods. So I'm going to provide a reconciliation for the June period. So I'll just quickly open this. 
import premap data, import premap balances. Here I'm going to select my source system file first and then my subsystem file. So I'm choosing my file. This is my source system file. Balance type is source system, period is June. Currency is my functional currency and this is CSV file. So from here, I'm going to import it. I can see the progress from here in the staging tables. Okay. So I'm just going to refresh it. It's still in process. So it has been completed without any errors. Now I'm going to repeat the same process for the source system balances. Sorry, for the subsystem balances. Balance type is subsystem. I'm going to choose my file from here. This is my profile ID. It is functional. And then I'm just going to import this. So it has been completed without any errors. Now I'm going to create a reconciliation for the period of June. So I will go to my profile again, search for my profile. So this profile has been created and I'm going to select this profile and create a reconciliation. From actions, I will go to create reconciliations. Period is June. So this process has been completed. Now I will go to my reconciliation card to see for the reconciliation. So as you can see, the, this is my reconciliation. The source system balance that I imported was 50,000 and the subsystem balance was 45,000. And these were the files that I imported. This was the source system file. The balance was 50,000. And this was a subsystem file. The balance was 45,000. So I'm going to log in as Frank Taylor and provide for the balance explanations. So I'm going to sign out from here. So I have logged in as Frank Taylor. And I'm going to go to the reconciliations card. Search for my reconciliation. This is my reconciliation. So I'm going to provide for the adjustments to the GL. Transaction date, I'm choosing this only. And here I'm going to provide for the balance. Journal entry required is yes. And I'm just going to save this. So I can see now I have no unexplained differences. And uh, the functional, uh, like I have provided for 5000 USD adjustments. So I'm going to submit it. And as you can see, the rule has applied. The status has already changed to closed. The reviewer don't have to open it and approve it. The status is already chosen as closed. Okay. So this is how it is done. Thank you so much.